Exact offers. Um, I had three D three offers. I had one to Lake Forest, which is in Chicago, 20 minutes out. I had one to Cal Lutheran, which is uh, in Thousand Oaks, about an hour, hour and a half away from here. And I had Knox, my first offer, after uh, Las Vegas last year. I played with the elite team, so that was my only three. After it was all said now. Um, when I first got that offer from Knox, I was pretty excited. Then towards the end of the season, I played in a great All Star game, put up some good numbers. And then Cal Luton said they went to offer me. And it was just between those two, and then Lake Forest kind of creeped up at the end. But I was leaning towards Cal Luton at first, because, you know, it was close. Uh, I had family come see me play. But money came into the factor. Uh, they didn't give me enough money for like an athletic and academic scholarship. So Knox was the best fit, and it was the best for my family. The coaches wanted to get me out there for a while. Coach Kevin Walden, he was always telling me about I need to visit, need to visit. So then, I, it was a good moment after my spring break because I had a good opportunity to go out there, see campus, and going to the visit, it was great. Uh, it really did shock me because I thought I wasn't going to be ready for a small town. And the thing that sold me was more, it was like peaceful. It was a peaceful environment for me to focus and get my, my degree in four years and definitely like work on my game. And I mean, it was just a great experience for me. Like all the coaches were friendly, people were friendly. Uh, coaches let me actually get into the gym, actually let me work out for as long as I could, as long as I wanted to. And that's really important for me. It's pretty much just putting in more work than uh, other people. Got to play with the guys, they were pretty cool. And I mean, I just got more work in. And then thinking about it, uh, that offer, I mean, what really sold me, like at the end, it was like I had to pull out from Cal Lutheran. And I really didn't like like explain, like I didn't get to really talk to Cal Lutheran like I did with Knox. At Knox, I broke down film. I saw things to coaches. I ran through the offense. It was just a great, it was a great experience for me. Um, I liked the offense, and then like they, he told me where I fit and where my where my position would be. I thought I could really fit in there in that system. So the offer, I, I'm genuinely like mostly like it was like really better for me. It was last year at Vegas, uh, my second, the second 17s, I think the got 17 league. We weren't doing so well. We didn't, we didn't jail because we did really well in spring, in spring sessions, and like you know we were, we were doing really well. And then summer we didn't jail a lot. I don't know what the problem was. We went to Vegas and lost four in a row, and I thought it was over. And Gary really texted me like late at night, like 12, talking about we need you, like uh, we need you to go to battle with against the Oakland Soldiers. That's what we have in the morning. I like you being on a team. So, knowing some people, some people been like, I'm not staying on a team, go sit the bench. I mean, I don't care. But like I said, I took it as like as I took it as advantage. I went and been a, I went and like been a good teammate. And then ultimately, we won that game. I think about two. And then next game we played as Arm Five. A lot of our dudes went down. Like KJ went down with a sprained ankle. Uh, Reef wasn't playing that game because he hurt his. He messed up his finger really bad. So they didn't really have anybody else to sub in. And then uh, Shaq called me in, I think last four minutes of the game. Uh, we were, uh, it was a close game. We were up by two against Tyrese Maxey's team. And then, you know, I like I had a bunch of good plays down the stretch. Hit a jumper, Don, a big Fred off for a good dunk, and it was two charges. And like, just seeing that, like, seeing that, like, I was having fun. My God, it was like, we was turned up. It was like, it was one of the best experiences for me. Even though it was only four minutes, I had a great time. And next game, just seeing that that championship, like there was a picture of us all together, like holding that championship. You know, like I, I was so I was like proud of myself, and like I was just like happy, cause, you know, like it was just hard to explain. It was just a great feeling for me. And then that next day, like two weeks later, get Coach Kevin Walden to email, call my dad, talking about we're like have a program. And I was excited because, you know, I got in where I, fit, where I fit in. Like Uncle G always says, he said, like, you just get in where you fit in. And whatever happens, happens. And I, I prepared myself, like, for the longest, the whole summer. So I knew I was good. I, I felt like I was I was better. 
So I came in there confident. I played well, got that offer, and I never looked back. Just, just holding that trophy up it was, it was powerful for me. Cause like, dude, like, a lot of stuff went on that summer. Loss, a rise, one of the guys really close to me. I was just, it was just determined to go to college. Like I had to, because my man didn't get a chance to really play in college. He lost his life right before. He was supposed to go to LMU, so like, I, it was like, I had to do this. I had to go play college basketball with my dad. And hopefully I get that number zero if I go to Knox, just, uh, just for my bro. But like, it was just, it was just a thing I had to do. It's so, like, it's either you do or die. Yeah, that's about it. Mentality going into this summer as well. Man, just have a dog retired. Like, I, I care less whose name, who I'm going to I'm just going to go hard and play as hard as I can. Cause, you know, people really don't, it doesn't matter to me. Fuck with me, but she ain't never had no luck with me.